Okay, guys, uh, I just stumbled upon life balance inventory chart, which I couldn't find anywhere. So I just added something in PowerPoint and a little code. I've got eight parts of a circle twice, once for the background and once for the uh, placeholders having number values. Now, to use this uh, chart, uh, click the button up here and you can select values here. Now, each time you select a value, um, you add a, a value from 1 to 10. Uh, 11 will not be accepted. Uh, 0 will not be accepted. So it, was, it has to be 1 to 10. Um, also, when you select something in the drop box, it will disappear from the other drop boxes. So uh, you will not be choosing the same stuff twice. And if you type try to type something, <coughs> you'll get an invalid error. So that should be taken care of. Let's see. Let's just go uh, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. If you omit anything, it will not be able to help you. Now, uh, I'll click OK, and uh, it'll tell me that you can move <coughs> the text boxes to make it look better. Uh, you can press Control A to select all, type Control C to copy and then navigate to Word, paste as picture, preferably in a canvas, which is insert figure canvas. This video, uh, well, yeah, <laughs> if you're seeing it, you know it's there. So I'll just click um, close and I've got my result here. If I want to edit some stuff here, I can just go and uh, edit the size and the placement of the bro uh, text boxes if I want to. So um, I can just go ahead and, and do some handling here if I want to. I can even move a number if I think it's sort of inside where it shouldn't be. Here we go. Should you have an urge for colors, you could select the different uh, figures here, figurines, and uh, do your formatting if you want to. That's a lot of stuff you can do if you want to. So here we go. Just a sample. Now if, if I press Control A and Control C, I would like to go to my Word document. Having this here, I'll just delete that one. I would like to delete the texts here. So we'll just select those and delete. <coughs> I'd like to merge all these cells. And I probably would like to insert figures and canvas. And once I've got this canvas, I would like to insert the picture. So I go to Home, Insert, and select the picture. There we go. That's actually all there is to that. So, you've got your figure here. And um, should you think something is wrong, you can go back to your PowerPoint. Mind you, this is a picture. But in PowerPoint, you can go back and s say, I would like to s do some editing here. If you press the smiley again, you'll see that the values are actually uh, imported into the dialog again. And I can go and my stuff here. Or I could simply go and say, well, I would like to reset everything. Just click reset and click OK. Uh, click reset and close and I'm back here. Obviously uh, I did some coloring. I might want to get rid of those. So I'll just select my shapes here and uh, go and uh, make them white. There we go. So that was it. I hope it makes sense. Um, let me know if you have some challenges or problems or something like that. Bye.